Hi, I'm Dr. Jessica Kulak at the Nadari Center. Today we're going to talk about upper blepharoplasty, which is an upper eyelid lift under local, which means without anesthesia, in the office. We have our patient today. She's ready for the procedure. I've already went ahead and marked her. One of the key elements of this procedure is actually the precision in which the markings are, are placed. Um, the goal of the procedure is to give the eyes a more lifted, open look um, without making them look hollow, unnatural type. That's not what the goals are with the blepharoplasty. Um, and that's something that a lot of patients fear. Really, an upper blepharoplasty should leave you with a result that's natural, that no one can really tell that you've done a procedure, but your eyes look more open and you have a better eyelid crease and eyelid platform in which to place makeup and which to frame the eyes and, and give a better shape to the eyelids. Um, so here, I'm just gonna demonstrate the markings. Um, the markings for the eyelids have been placed at her natural eyelid crease. I use calipers, which are very precise measuring instruments to measure these, mar um, these markings. I use the calipers, I first mark her natural eyelid crease and use that to make sure that both eyelid creases are equal on both sides and, and placed um, in that crease. So you can see the creases are, are um, measured with the calipers and you can use exact precise measurement um, again, you can see that on this side too as well. Very precise. And then after which I use um, an instrument to measure the amount of excess skin and pretty much pinch the extra skin to make sure that not too much skin is taken to give a very natural amount of skin that's removed. Um, and then I mark the amount of skin. The amount of extra skin was just pinched. I hold the brow up because we don't want the brow to come down. If anything, we always want the brow to be more upright. And I pinch to make sure that the markings do not produce any movement of the eye that cause any eyelid opening and also do not pull on the brow in a downward way. Um, after this point, um, the procedure, it's, it's a very comfortable procedure to be done under local in the office. Um, and I'm going to be injecting her with just a little bit of lidocaine, which is what's used in dentist's office when any kind of procedure, removal of any little lesions, it's the same type of local anesthetic, and that'll make the area completely numb that she won't feel anything during the procedure. So our patient is all ready now. She's all prepped and draped and ready to be get started with the procedure. I've already injected both eyelids with lidocaine with epinephrine, which is there to help so she, everything is, feels completely numb also helps with the bleeding so that there's very little bleeding during the procedure. Patients after I inject won't feel a thing. This is a very comfortable procedure to be done under local. I do a lot of these um, in the office. Usually when I'm just doing only the upper eyelids, I, um, I just do it under local more typically when we start doing lower eyelids and other procedures than they're under general. Um, I'm a facial specialist. I do only this in the area and um, and only really work on the face. Yeah, I'm in a unique practice scenario with doctors that, uh, Dr. Anderson who does the body work and Dr. Nadari who does the noses. So I've already made the upper eyelid incision and um, using a 15 blade, which is a sharp instrument um, for making the incision. I'm making the lower incision now. Uh, some people will promote that they use lasers and cautery to make the incision, but in actuality, it leaves more scarred when you have heat. So doing this technique um, is definitely better for, for the scarring. Um, so I'm just making an incision through the skin. The eyelid skin is extremely thin, but there is actually um, underneath the eyelid skin, the muscle that um, is below the skin and I'm taking off the skin above the muscle and that's gonna be removed um, to continue the procedure. And using as little cautery as possible so that there's less scarring, less tightness after the procedure. And, um, and, and fast healing and return to um, everyday activities. 
As you can see, we've already I've already completed the right side. The incision's been closed with sutures that are underneath the skin. You can see little blue knots at the end, and that's the extent of the sutures that um, that are visible on the outside. There is a little bit of swelling, but that'll go down pretty quickly. Um, and downtime for this is around a week, um, and she will be back to her normal activities usually within a week or so. Um, the eye is a little bit open, that's completely normal in this procedure between the swelling from the procedure, also from some of the um, lidocaine that's in the, that was injected earlier. That's common to see that within usually an hour the eye will be completely closed. I'm very conservative in the beginning when I'm measuring to make sure that I know that the amount of skin that's removed is definitely not going to leave the eye open. Okay, so we're going to start with the left side. Um, you can see the incision. Uh, um, comes up at the end towards the corner um, on the out, outer part of the eye to take care of the excess skin and the lateral pudding that's seen on the eyelid that comes over. In, in this patient, she really has no fat, so I'm not removing any fat today, but on some patients, they get a bulge right here um, and some fullness and puffiness, and I'll also do that under in the office as well where I remove a little bit of fat that causes that bulge. So I'm making the incision. I'm going through the skin. and the patient doesn't feel anything. Um, it's, it's a very, once the injection is done, this procedure is completely painless um, and, it's, and it's very well tolerated. Um, you know, she's awake, she's doing well um, and comfortable. Often patients will be talking during the procedure um, and, um, and the recovery is really around a week, minimal downtime. Um, the swelling is actually, you see more swelling right from the injection than you do even at completion. Removing the skin. Um, I'm a, uh, I do a, a lot of, a lot of these eyelids on, uh, in the office. Um, it's when it's done by itself. It's very um, comfortable to be done. When I'm doing more than just the eyelids, then sometimes I'll do it under general. Um, I am a board, double board certified facial plastic surgeon. What's unique is that in our practice, it's um, each, of a, each of the surgeons are very specialized in what we do. I do mostly all facial rejuvenation um, with surgeries on the face. Eyelids are probably my most common procedure um, along with facelift surgery. Right now, I'm just removing the skin from, uh, from off the muscle. Um, as you can see, the right side has been completed. Um, the incision uh, looks good. It's nice, thin line, very minimal sutures. All the suturing is done underneath the skin. Um, one of the nice thing about the way I do this incision is I I like to curve the incision up towards the end so that really lifts up that extra skin that's on the outer corner and it gives a much more open look to the eye and uh, prevents some of that downturn look that people fear about when they're seeing some blepharoplasty results. Um, but this is what gives that nice look to the extra skin on the side. Um, I'm a double board certified facial plastic surgeon. This is pretty much all I do is I focus on the eyes, I focus on the face, doing facelifts, eyelid surgery, brow lifts, and this is the focus of my practice. Um, uh, this procedure, you know, is very, very well, well, well tolerated in the office. It, it really, it, it doesn't have much downtime. She, it's been virtually painless. Um, doesn't feel a thing after the injection. Um, you could see from this side, we just, I just started with um, the incision. The skin is ready to be removed, um, and the skin comes off, and it's it's the um, muscle underneath and you know almost ready to really close the incision and the uh, surgery is pretty much complete um what's nice um is that this will heal in around a week sometimes the around six five six days i'll take out the sutures and she'll be basically ready to go back to work it's very common to see a little eye opening um, as you see on this side that'll close up pretty shortly after the surgery and is very normal due to some of the swelling and also some of the injection of the local anesthetic that was done in the beginning of the case. Um, we're gonna start closing this side. Um, the 
what's unique about our practice is it's really three specialized um, surgeons, each uh, focusing on a very specific area. Um, I focus just on the face, uh, mostly really just facial rejuvenation, eyelids, facelifts, um, and uh, Dr. Derry focuses on the nose and Dr. Anderson focuses on the body. Um, she's, uh, you know, awake during this procedure, not really feeling anything. And, you know, really has very minimal downtime with this procedure. She'll be healed up in around a week and sutures will be out in around five to se seven days, depending on how she's healing and doing. And we'll be back to our, our regular routine. There's very little pain after this procedure. Most people just take a little Tylenol. Um, we do give some pain medications if needed, but I would say after the first night, there's very little pain with the procedure. The procedure's been completed. I have cold gauze pads on the eyes and um, the procedure took a little less than an hour. Um, it was done. Was there much pain with the procedure? Not at all. Very minimal pain, pain just with local anesthesia. She feels perfectly fine. She could just walk walk out of the office and get up and go home. Um, I only showed, we didn't show much of the surgery because I think for a lot of patients, it makes them fearful of the surgery and the actual procedure and seeing too many details of it. But I, what I wanted to point out is um, the incisions. As you can see, they're, com they're done, they're closed. It's a thin little line right in the actual um, natural crease. Um, and you can see how nice and symmetric um, the eyelid incisions are. There's very small sutures um, that are mostly under the skin with just the knots showing on the outside. Uh, minimal bruising and swelling. Um, you can open your eyes. Can you open your eyes for everyone? Mm -hmm. And she can open her eyes. She can see perfectly normal after the procedure. Yes. Feels pretty good. Very minimal pain. Maybe a little bit of uh, Tylenol tonight. Possibly maybe one pain pill. But most patients don't actually need pain pills for this procedure. Um, the pain is very minimal. Mostly just incisional pain. Um, she is going to take it easy because it, it, I think, promotes good healing to take it easy over the next couple days after the procedure. But she'll be back up and about doing, doing her normal activities within a week.